one of the things we're doing out here in the Help Creek Formation that I think more people will be doing in the future is using uh, 3D laser scanning, uh, LIDAR, uh, to actually map the surfaces of the ground. Unfortunately, what it takes, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, is it takes an engineer. And so you have to have an engineer on staff in order to, to actually get this kind of data. What we use is a terrestrial based LIDAR. So you have a tripod and you set it up on the ground, and then it fires a whole bunch of different LIDAR pulses in all the directions it possibly can, and it uses that to map 3D. And so you take all these three dimensional pictures essentially and you stack them on top of each other and you get a virtual quarry. What LIDAR does is, is allow us to, to get up what we call a point cloud of, of a huge area. It gives us three-dimensional data. In the past, we've used three-dimensional data to, to scan dinosaur bones. We scanned the leg of one of our T-Rexes so we could actually see how it walked. But LIDAR allows us to scan outcrops, hills, uh, huge areas. What we can do is scan these areas and then imprint over the top a photograph. And once we have this LIDAR information, it is just like having a three-dimensional object in front of us. And we can put it on our screen and we can actually measure. As a matter of fact, what we can even do is with high-resolution LIDAR, we can actually look for fossils back in the laboratory. We could literally use these scans and go and go over them very carefully and zoom in on them and actually look for fossils uh, on the ground. What we're really using it for is just to make very accurate representations of the strata. And here we're in the Hell Creek Formation, and so what we want to do is we want to make a LiDAR scan of the Hell Creek Formation, um, where we have detailed information where we can measure down to this you know the millimeter basically of of the strata there's several different phases here uh, one of which is setting up reflectors so we set things permanently on the ground that we can see from all sorts of different locations and then uh, we set up the scanner in one particular location and the scanner does a preliminary scan where it collects a whole bunch of dots some of those dots are the reflectors and they come back with humongous amounts of return and then what we do is a fine scan where it fi looks and finds all those reflectors and finds out exactly where the centers are. And then we do the scan of the area that we're looking for and take photographs of it. And then at that point we move the scanner to a different location, find those reflectors again, find their reflectors in the previous one and match them up, and then do a scan, a fine scan of that location and pictures on top of that as well. And what we're trying to do is work that into this, in this huge plan of actually making a 3D image of the Hell Creek Formation in this area. We're using Google Earth images, we're using all sorts of data, including even uh, well log data produced by oil wells, and, and actually sewing all this information together to make this, this monstrous digital Hell Creek Formation so that we can plug in where all of our dinosaur specimens have been found. So we can look at, you know, relatively where everything was found in time and geographically. And that's, that's, what, that's the goal of LIDAR.